Uh, led from start to finish. Um, every time they made a run out, you guys were able to push it back out. Just uh, what did you think about the effort today, and compared especially to uh, Thursday? Well, I think that learning from the Thursday game, we, we um, our focus and the energy was there. You know, I, I thought at the beginning of the middle game, we had some really good energy. We lost focus a little bit defensively. Uh, tonight, we really locked in to doing both for, for a long stretch of time. We started the game well. We finished the half well. We started the second half well. We've had some struggles in those areas at times. We've never been able to really put together those three, um, those three parts of the game. We didn't finish the game great. We had some subs in. We were trying to, you know, gain a little experience there. We didn't finish it quite how we want to finish it, but with a 20-point lead. But uh, really, really happy with the energy at the start, the focus. Um, Finishing the half out the way we did, and coming out in the second half, being ready to play. And a lot of guys played well. The other night, a lot of guys didn't play to their ability. Tonight, a lot of guys stepped up and, and uh, we played well. But uh, it was fun watching the guys. We had an incredible weekend with our 71 team here. I think our guys were very, very excited not only about the ESPN game, but also a chance to hear from that 71 team and what it means to be a Hilltopper and um, you know and the expectations that, that we have. And, um, a lot of those things went into a great night. How big was it for you guys to be as, as balanced as you were talking about, you know, everybody having the his, but to kind of just distribute it around and get everybody involved? In well, North Texas is a very good basketball team. Um, I don't think Coach Jones, you know, feels like they're particularly playing great on the road, but they've had a good non-league schedule. They've played well in the non-league. They're trying to get clicking. Uh, they've got good veterans, good players, and we were going to have to go out and kind of make them play bad, in my opinion. To, to get this win, and we needed everybody to, to play well. We needed everybody to play well. Um, we extended leads at, at very important and key times. I tell you, Stefan Pettigrew does an unbelievable job in Odofa. Uh, doesn't have one field goal, and I mean that's that's a chore. He's hurt us in the past, and he's extremely strong, and he's a good low post presence. For him not to have a field goal, you know, Pet probably doesn't get credit. Uh, enough for his defense, especially his interior defense, being undersized. It's an incredible start. Um, Juan Patillo, once again, got to credit him for his defense, going after one of the best scorers, natural scorers in the league after having a, a pretty strong start, uh, but shut him down pretty good in terms of, you know, limiting his touches, making him work for shots. He's not going to shut a scorer like that down, but that was big. Jamal Crook, nine assists, no turnovers. Am I right on that? Uh, am I right? Yeah. 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 yeah, nine assists, no turnovers. Managed the game, handled the pressure at times. They tried to go full court press. They tried the 1 3 1 that I think everyone will probably go 1 3 1 now against us. The middle, the middle did, and we handled it, managed the game, and big positive. Uh, a big positive. Cleo McDonald played good on both ends of the ball. So you're seeing it. You, when you see a lot of guys play like that, we're, we've got a chance to be a good team. Coach, what do you guys do now to uh, kind of get rid of the Jekyll Hyde type situation? Have games like this, and you have games like Thursday, and then you turn right around again like this. So what, what do you guys do to get rid of all that? We're going to talk to Ross Bjork about bringing the 71 team in every game, <laughs> and, and have a chance to uh, have a chance to hear from them and get excited. And uh, ESPN, we're going to call ESPN. <laughs> but you know, there's a lot of things. It, it's 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 hard to figure out at times. There's no question. You keep hoping that um, as a group we totally understand the focus needed and that we're running out of opportunities. We'll continue to watch film, um, coach these guys. The assistants are doing a great job, a lot of extra time, and uh, trying to eliminate that. You know, that is a you know, part of the leadership that we need. Understanding each game is important. We're still in charge of how this thing ends out and that every game is vital uh, at, at this point, home and away, home and away. We want to go into the tournament playing well. And um, we'll look at a lot of positives tonight and be able to take from that and show them exactly what needs to be done. So you had Jim come in and talk to you guys before the game. He's done that before. What was, what was his well, the whole the whole group. Right. The, the whole group that was honored. It, it, it went from players to coaches, cheerleaders, families. It, it was an amazing group to be around. Uh, we took them out to dinner last night and hearing them talk, you know, the pride that they have and uh, just how positive they are. Just It's really, really good for our team. And, and uh, it refreshes you as a coaching staff too. It's just great. It's great to be around those guys. And you know, they talked about 
getting on the, getting on the floor for loose balls and effort needed to, uh, to to win a championship, to play at that level, you know, a championship level. And why not have expectations of going down and winning the tournament and um, having pride to be a good teammate and pull for your pull for your teammate. All the things that you know you talk about, but it's always great to hear it from a different voice and obviously from a different era that that has been. You know, just a big part of uh, the history and the greatness of Western Kentucky basketball. How much do you think that was needed? Just the whole day, like you said, the national audience, you know, having that 71 team talk to the guys. I mean, do you feel like now is a really good time for that to happen? I think it's, I think it's a crucial time. Um, you know, the other night someone asked me about, you know, are you hitting, was it a panic button or are you uh, desperate? desperate? Yeah, it's desperation time. Well, you know, it's always desperation time as a coach. I mean, I got a new AD, you know. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's always desperation time. You know, it's it's uh, you know this is our livelihood, and as a coaching staff and the players want to do well, uh, you just want them to have that feeling where they're understanding that we don't want to go back to how we felt Thursday night. We don't want to go back to how we felt two Thursdays ago against South Alabama. So you just keep uh, you keep you keep coaching, you keep coaching, you keep playing. You, you talked a little bit about confidence, you know, energy, emotion for your team. It seems like that's kind of ebbed and flowed, and your team's kind of come with it. Is it, for better or for worse, is that just who you guys are, or do you still think you might be able to remove a little bit of well, that? To where don't it, don't lose focus. I'll help you not lose focus here. Fair enough. That we've won. How many out of five or seven? Six of five. Six, seven. six of eight. Six of eight. Six. We won six of eight. Okay. We had a stretch of time where we won four in a row, you know, played well, uh, uh, actually didn't play well, played well, didn't play well, played well. So we've gotten some of the consistency back on the right side. Now it's time to go over the top and keep it. Um, I don't know if we're, you know, where we're at with the Jekyll and Hyde stuff. Hopefully we're, we're done with that and we're more consistent going, going from here. The biggest thing right now is getting better, Momentum going into the tournament, understanding the sense of urgency that come tournament time you lose, you're done, you're going home, and um, we got to stay in that direction. Kind of as you got here before, but you know, Tang with, with the energy he's had, and that was the last couple of games. How big is that for your team to have a guy like that if you come out and you know, have the spark? Like I think it's huge. You know, it's already it's amazing. The fans love him already, and. Um, it's, it's one of those things that can that can snow, have a snowball effect on the team, on the fan base, and I'm really happy for him. He stayed working. He's a great kid. The speed of the game, it's taken him some time to, to totally get into the system and understand the consistency we need for him. He's another guy that's been, it's been a struggle for him because of the close games we're in. Uh, you know, him getting in the game, if he gets in that game and makes a mistake and it's a close game. It's really hard to keep him in, but he's gone in and taken advantage of the opportunity the last the last couple of weeks, and I'm really excited for him. Uh, and he's a he's a difference maker. Uh, he's tough to get around in the in the post. He can score the basketball. He's a good passer. He's so long. You know, he throws over the double team if you double team him, and uh, does a lot of positive things. He makes his free throws. So so I'm I'm excited about what he brings to the table right now, and and also happy for him. He's worked hard and he's put himself in this position. North Texas you know, is five and six now in the league. I know they're not having the year they were supposed to have. But uh, how nice of a win do you feel like this is for you guys, uh, you know, considering they are the defending champs, they're preseason favorite? And so. I think it's a big win. Where we're at, who we're playing against. We have great respect for North Texas. And Coach John, he's one of my favorite coaches that I've known in the profession. I know how consistent he's been. He's on his way to having another 20 win season. And I know, I know you know, He's, uh, he's a hard-nosed guy. He's, a, um, he's teaching the same things he taught last year when they won it, and if, same things he's taught for a while. So we have a lot of respect for the program. It's a big win from that standpoint. Also, they got a lot of veterans. Uh, but I've been in that seat, too, where you weren't playing well. You know, like last year, we had a lot of veterans, and for whatever reason, we're kind of missing a little something. And uh, you know, I'm sure he's going to get going come tournament time. And I told my team that we are – Good chance we're going to play them in the tournament because I because I have that much confidence that they are a good team and they're well coached. Cliff didn't put on after halftime. What's the situation with Cliff? What kind of happened there? Well, it's it's an internal it's an internal matter right now, and um, you know probably have more on that in the next couple of days, and uh, have to handle that as a 
as a coach staff and as a team uh, internally. Is he still with the team? Yes, yeah, he's still with the team. We'll, we'll uh, got some, you know, got some talking to do, and once again, it's internal. I really don't want to go down that road right now. At all tonight? Uh, Monday, obviously, it's not a league game. It doesn't really have any significance from that standpoint, but from momentum. What if you look at the other day, you more positive momentum. How big is Monday? Did not take a step back. It's big. I want to see how far we've come in terms of maturity and coming out ready to play. I don't expect us to be perfect, but I don't want to take a step back in terms of the energy and understanding. You know, capable teams come in here and play well, and you know, I don't know how many games, uh, big games that uh, Gulf Coast has on their schedule, but I'm sure they're looking at this as a great opportunity for themselves, and we have to understand that we've got to we've got to have the maturity and uh, the, the leadership to, to understand that, and I'm confident our guys will be ready to go. You know, that's that's uh, that's my stance. Anything else? All right.